Welcome back Wealth Giants to another episode. If you're new to the channel, my name is Ryan. Welcome to the channel. In today's episode, as you could tell, it's gonna be about Tesla and my thoughts on selling Tesla. And there's a good reason for it and I wanna go over those details and it's not because I want to or because I have to or because I, I don't want to lose any of the gains that I've lost. I actually want to stay in this company for the long term because I believe that this is one of those companies that is gonna grow beyond belief, just like Apple has, and Google, Amazon, and companies like that. I think it's one of the biggest companies for the future. Now, with that said, why am I thinking about selling some shares if I have such a strong outlook? Well, it's actually for the portfolio that I have, okay? The portfolio I have is actually very saturated with Tesla stock. It actually consists of 73% of my portfolio right now, which is super high. I have Facebook in my portfolio as well, and it has grown extremely well over the past little while. And it's interesting because Tesla, uh, Facebook could go up a good 10, 15% in a day, and Tesla could go down 4% in a day. And guess what? Uh, my portfolio, it'll take a loss for the day because of how saturated my portfolio is with Tesla shares. So right now I have about 40 shares and right now pre-market Tesla is trading about $479 a share. So what price would I be wanting to sell these shares at? Well, my target price for the next three to five years was actually a half a trillion dollar market cap. We're currently sitting at a $442 billion market cap, which is absolutely extraordinary. I mean, beyond belief absolutely extraordinary. Also, it is trading with a trailing PE ratio of over a thousand and a forward PE ratio of over 333. Guys, this is extremely high, but for me personally, I don't see it as a bad thing because it is pricing in the future of this company. That's why it's called a growth stock. And it is, as I said, one of the biggest companies out there and frankly, one of the most popular out there. So why would I be wanting to sell these? As I said, it just takes up too much of my portfolio. Um, at what price would I be willing to sell these shares and how many shares will I sell? I don't wanna sell a lot. The maximum I would probably sell is 25%. That's 10 shares total. And I would have it to sell it at a price point of $525. Now, if it gets close to that, like 524, I'd probably still sell. And how much would I sell at a time? Would I sell them all in the same day? No, I would sell them at different points. I wanna sell them five one day and then wait a week and sell the five the next week or something like that. Because I don't wanna just sell all of my shares at one point, I wanna sell them at different points because chances are, what if they go up over that next week? I mean, we've seen Tesla go up majorly in the past month since August 11th. Tesla has grown over 80% from that point to today. And that is extraordinary. I mean, it has actually come up to the point where it is actually now worth more as a company than Visa. Visa is a huge and respectable company and Tesla is beating it. Now, can that change over the next couple of weeks? Yes, it can. I don't expect its momentum to continue to rise just because it can change with a flip of a dime, honestly, in my opinion. I think right now a lot of people are just too hyped up about the stock split and now that it's over, we're waiting on battery day. And when battery day is over, as long as they produce some sort of material that people like on battery day, uh, it'll continue to rise, but if they don't produce anything that everybody is expecting or anticipating, I don't think that Tesla will do good in the short term. I think that it'll start to fall, which is normal. And I am excited because today, or sorry, yesterday, Tesla has announced that they are selling $500 billion worth of shares, and I'm super happy about that. That is the smartest thing they could possibly do. Anybody who says otherwise is doesn't know what they're talking about, frankly. But we're super excited about that and um, that's pretty much what I got for you I'm not gonna do much editing in this video just because it's uh, 
five in the morning. I'm filming right now. I just want to get this posted and kind of give you guys my opinions on selling shares in Tesla. I don't want to sell all of them. I want to sell some of them and I want to make sure that it is enough that it can kind of balance out my portfolio so I can put more money into another company. And since I am up around 850, 900% year to date, not year to date, overall, that's extremely amazing, especially since I've held on to some of these shares less than a year and a lot of them for over a year. Year to date, the portfolio, it is up almost 200%, which is amazing. I mean, I, I set a goal back in October of last year and I have beat that goal for the projected future. I mean, I set the goal to take a $4,000 portfolio up to a $25,000 portfolio in the space of just a year and a half. So by 2021, I was expecting to have $25,000 in this portfolio. And we're currently sitting at around $27,000 thousand dollars in the portfolio which is absolutely mind-boggling and my mind is just blown it is amazing anyways thank you elon musk thank you tesla for helping me get my goal early uh, i hope it stays that way and i hope by the end of the year my new goal is to be at thirty thousand dollars by january 1st of 2021 anyways with that guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please consider smashing that like button don't social distance from it i mean it really likes to be poked Anyways, with that said, also, if you want to see more videos like this, please consider hitting that ugly mug over to my right. It looks like this one, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.